Hey everybody, welcome, it's Jason with Rotoboss. I just wanted to go over the modifications I did to my Eon Mira 7. Um, going to be tying into the chiller there that my other laser runs off of, as well as the air system. Um, on the back of the laser, what you basically be doing is removing your air inlet on the left. You can pull your chiller out if you want. As you'll see in the video, I put it back in, but it's non-functional. I don't have it hooked up to anything anymore. Um, but the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just take all your screws out. There's four that go around the perimeter for each panel. There'll be the two panels there. And you see you have your air system inside there your air pump and your exhaust fan, all that stuff on mine is um, being gutted, except for the pump. Pump's gonna stay there, but it's not gonna serve any purpose anymore. I'm actually plumbing it into my uh, uh, shop air system. So you wanna disconnect all your plugs, electrical, um, and your sensing wires, then you want to disconnect your um, water hoses. If you got water in it, be careful because water will come out. I would drain it before you do this if you're going to. You want to clip the zip ties if you got them, pull the lines off, and keep track of which one's in and out. Um, doesn't, I guess it really doesn't matter, but the low point, the low point would be your out, outlet, essentially. From the tube so if you get confused or, or mix it up uh, you can find out that way just follow the lines back so I took a chiller out originally I was going to leave it out um, but I decided to put it back using the hardware to mount the, the exhaust fan and get it removed and pulled out because I will not be needing that and pulling the motor out you got to make sure to get up inside and take off your band clamp to remove the existing hose. Um, then just to clean up the area, I'll go ahead and tape off some of the wires here, uh, which actually ends up getting removed here in a second anyways. But um, I decided to go back here to the terminal blocks and go ahead and remove all the wires for the, the pump, air pump and the blower fan. Um, so when you're done, basically there'll be nothing hooked up to that terminal block except for a positive and negative off of your power supply. Uh, I chose to leave the pump inside the air pump. You can leave it in there as well if you want. Um, I just chose to take leave it in there uh, just so I didn't have to store it anywhere. Then has gone ahead and taken the clamp, put on the supplied uh, ducting that you get with your laser, um, and hooked it directly up to the back of the exhaust port. So it'll be pulling air directly out of the laser through my exhaust system and there's a chiller you said you can put it back in if you want leave it out if you want it doesn't really matter um, there's less to deal with later but if you're just gonna throw it back in there throw it in there put your four screws in it and it's out of the way and if you ever need to use it it's easy to hook right back up so by hooking the power back up and uh, your hose I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these little pieces of tubing that are left behind because um, we're going to end up replacing those with a new section of tubing. Um, I just happen to have it laying around. You can get some off of Amazon or you might even be able to get some from Eon if you ask. Um, I don't know what they have or how much it would cost to get it, but uh, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. <clears throat> These two fittings up there, what I was referring to is finding out which is the inlet, which is the outlet. Um, and you can, like I said, you can find out by just looking at your laser tube, whichever the bottom, the bottom most tube is on the on the laser, that's your outlet. And then, you, so you run that appropriately to whatever port that you have as an outlet. Because what I end up done doing here is I put in through wall connecting connections. You see one of them there. I'm getting ready to drill the other one out here. Um, so those hoses on the inside will connect to the inside of those barb fittings. 
And then the hose to the chiller itself will actually hook to that and go to the chiller. So I put my own, I'm putting my own regulator on there at the machine with a separator and filter, um, just to be a little extra cautious. My air system is more than sufficient to remove any debris and stuff out of there, but uh, I decided to go that route instead. So what we're doing here is we took the air pump out of the system. So now you're high and low pressure. Obviously, you're going to be, um, you're going to need airflow for the high and low pressure so what i've done is uh regulator in as you can see kind of trying to figure out where i want to put it um the back fitting on the machine that you would normally air use for your high pressure air that now goes straight to the regulator uh from the regulator it wise off and one end goes to the low pressure side and then one side goes to the high pressure side um and the low pressure is regulated by the um, the little needle valve that comes with the machine for your low system anyways. Um, and then, like I said, the highs and low are both regulated by the filter, so the air goes through there first. <clears throat> now, in doing this, um, I tried to keep it the same as the way the, the factory setup is. Um, with obviously the exception that it's run through a regulator. So really the only difference is, is instead of running straight to the machine from that port, it runs to the regulator, regulator filters the air, and uh, sends it back to the high pressure and low pressure side of the setup. Um, this here, I'm trying to figure out how to mount this because I want to be able to mount the hoses through the, through the wall without interfering with anything. Um, and the easiest way, as you'll see, is, is mounting it right there where I'm at right now. Um, using my calculated measuring skills to find where I want to put it. Um, and doing this, the biggest thing is make sure you have plenty of room behind, behind the area you're working. Um, uh, because you don't want to have... You don't want to do go through all this putting holes in your panels and then you don't have enough room to mount the rest of the stuff effectively.
before the video ends. Um, next, I'm putting the uh, chiller cable uh, through all fitting with a cannon plug, so that way I can plug directly into it on the back side. Um, the wire's left out because I didn't have a chance to do all that, but it gets connected up and, and hooked up in series with the other laser. Now, real quick, going to move on to um, the remote control. Uh, the remote control I got here is what came with my other laser. I had a Nova, the Nova 10 um, before I got this one. Um, this remote was hooked up. It's really, really easy to hook up. It comes pre-wired. All you got to do is take the connectors that you have, which I think are two three pins. Um, one goes on the terminal or the controller side, and then the other goes on just a, a positive lead side, which is on. You'll see as I'm hooking it up here. Um, but really, that's I mean, it's, it couldn't be any easier really than that. So it'll go in the top of the controller, technically, looking at it on the left side. The other one will go in a blank three pin on the top. And that's just your power wire. That'll connect inside. Then you have your antenna wire that comes out the back of the or plugs into the back of the module there. Um, and what I end up doing is, I don't think you'll see it in this video, maybe you will, is I drilled a hole through my laser and put a rubber grommet around the hole and fed the, the wire through that hole uh, to protect it. And that way, I don't have to worry about it. I can put the antenna anywhere but it's just a wireless signal to your remote and uh, makes it really easy to use quick fast especially on a bigger laser it's more more effective than it is on a smaller one um, just so you don't have to go back and forth between the control panel uh, moving left right up down whatever um, baba select start um, but uh just makes it a lot easier it's kind of convenient and it's just another cool tool to have i guess This is where the air hoses hook up to the back. I know I jumped around here, but um, there's the air hoses for the back. There's your water hoses or your water um, bungs. There's your antenna for the controller coming out of the back of the unit, nice and clean. Take a look at the air system in here, at the regulator mounted. The air goes out and then back in um, that way it can get to the regulator and then the air hoses all the way back to your Y connection there your needle valve for your low pressure and then the straight line for your high pressure which is regulated by the regulator and this is the auto drain so as long as there's pressure on it, it won't drain. As soon as the pressure is relieved, it'll actually drain off. And you can kind of set that up however you want, really. Actually, there's the air compressor just sitting there, chilling. Anyways, um, I think we're about we're about to the end of the uh, the video here. I think I covered everything I wanted to. The last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, well, as you can see. <laughs> The hole's not there for the wire, so this video is kind of out of sync. But the last thing you'll do is you'll put this panel back on, feed your tube through it, and then that'll be a nice clean finish. And if you wanted to go the extra step, you could go around the opening with some uh, some uh, trim edge uh, rubber gasket or something, whatever, if you wanted to clean that up even more around the hose. But uh, other than that, it's pretty, uh, pretty much it. Last thing you do is hook up your hoses and get ready to hook it up to your your uh, chiller, um, and then your your connection there for the the sensor, and you're done. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or want more details on this, please just uh, hit me up in the comment section. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay,